please don't listen to this Jake. man. But Jake, don't listen to him, please. Jake. This is my, I know my no. that he smacked the out of me at 14 years old. And my face has never been the same. The boxing world was left reeling when Iron Mike Tyson dropped a bombshell. An audio clip surfaced of Jake Paul pleading with him to call off their impending match. Despite Paul's desperate plea, it seems improbable that his request will be honored. Fans and fellow boxing professionals wasted no time in lambasting him for his audacious attempt. Who knows where I'd be without boxing, so that's why my goal has always been to give everything I can back to this sport and to help others because I love this sport. It, that All that stuff he has said don't mean shit. Drew 100 million people or 70 million people <laughs> to the fight, have you? Around like 75 million. You never helped boxing before. Boxing helped. His anxieties extend beyond mere knockout concerns. They encompass the humiliating fallout from a savage defeat. Despite the hype surrounding the impending showdown between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, it's rather startling that the controversial influencer boxer is seeking an exit strategy. One can't help but ponder the credibility of an internet sensation turned pugilist. It seems anticipated that he'd quail at the prospect of facing a seasoned champion, irrespective of age differentials. And indeed, Jake Paul appears to be living up to expectations, as evidenced by leaked audio, wherein he attempts to coax Iron Mike Tyson into calling off the bout. The clash between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul has set tongues wagging since news of their upcoming bout broke on March 7th. This much-anticipated event is slated to air exclusively on Netflix come Saturday, July 20th, 2024. The stage for their showdown? None other than the colossal 80 seater stadium in Arlington, Texas, where the NFL's Dallas Cowboys call home. Yet, amid the buzz, Reactions from boxing aficionados and insiders have been anything but tame. From respectful nods to outright criticism, the matchup has stirred a whirlwind of opinions, with many questioning the wisdom of pitting two pugilists with such a glaring age disparity against each other. On July 20th, the boxing world will witness a clash of generations as the seasoned 58-year-old Mike Tyson steps into the ring against the youthful 27-year-old Jake Paul. Despite the age gap, Jake Paul's decision to throw in the towel seems premature, for Iron Mike Tyson still exudes the same ferocity and raw power that earned him the title of the baddest man on the planet. From a distance, Tyson's presence is a reminder of his unparalleled dominance in the sport. Leading up to the highly awaited clash between the internet sensation, the problem child Jake Paul, and the legendary former undisputed heavyweight world champion, the man known as Iron Mike Tyson, a deluge of videos has inundated the online sphere. These videos tirelessly strive to ignite fervor and anticipation among fans, setting the stage for the much-anticipated showdown slated for July 20th. However, when the precise regulations for the match were unveiled, anxious fans found themselves disappointed that it wasn't an exhibition, despite the significant age gap. Nonetheless, the assured supporters, particularly those confident in Tyson's prowess, rejoiced at the prospect of a full-fledged professional bout. Their anticipation peaked with the hope that Mike Tyson would deliver a knockout against Jake Paul within the next three rounds. Additionally, the event will showcase an undisputed super lightweight championship title fight, featuring Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano, renewing their rivalry from their 2022 bout. After considerable speculation, it was confirmed that this rematch would indeed be a professional encounter. Set to unfold in the summer showdown at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, the match will span eight rounds of two minutes each, with the fighters donning 14 ounces gloves. While Tyson may not sport the 10 ounces gloves he once used to dominate opponents in his prime, he has secured his desire for a fully sanctioned professional contest. Nikisa Badarian, co-founder of the esteemed Most Valuable Promotions, officially announced a groundbreaking development. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul have inked a deal to face off in the ring. Their intention is clear, to engage in a sanctioned professional bout, guaranteeing a decisive outcome. Badarian expressed his excitement, stating, 
Over the last six weeks, MVP has diligently collaborated with our partners to meet the stringent requirements set forth by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulations to sanction the anticipated clash between Paul and Tyson. We're immensely thankful to have reached this pivotal stage. Tyson and Paul independently verified the news via social media, utilizing X, formerly known as Twitter. Tyson affirmed the legitimacy of the sanctioned bout against Jake Paul, while Paul articulated, Mike Tyson and Netflix envisioned a professional showdown, and thus, I've consented to this winner-takes-all pro-fight. In a recent statement, Tyson emphasized his approach to his upcoming bout with Paul, asserting his commitment to professionalism despite its non-official classification as an exhibition match. He highlighted the disparity between the fight's label and the rules governing it, underscoring the serious nature of the event. Tyson dismissed any notion of underestimating Paul, citing evidence contrary to the YouTube clips of the latter's past antics. Instead, he focused on the imminent challenge posed by Paul, anticipating a formidable opponent determined to inflict damage. Meanwhile, Paul has boldly forecasted his superiority over the 57-year-old who last competed professionally at the age of 38. He said, in this heavyweight clash, he may possess the bulk, but I hold the edge in speed. While he boasts greater strength, I come with a freshness he can't match. He's seasoned, I grant him that, and perhaps craftier in the ring. It appears that Jake Paul is grappling with a crisis of confidence, haunted by visions of a 58-year-old delivering a devastating blow that leaves him shaken. Many fans are questioning his mental state, suggesting that he's inadvertently casting himself as the fearful one rather than Mike Tyson. Interestingly, even the formidable Iron Mike Tyson has openly admitted to moments of fear. Just a month ago, Tyson confessed to Sean Hannity on Fox News that he confronts his fears head on, embodying a fearless persona. Whatever I'm afraid to do, I do it. Anything I'm afraid of, I will confront it, he declared. Tyson added, that's my personality. Like right now, I'm scared to death. However, Tyson explained that as the fight draws near, his nerves dissipate as he embraces reality and his own invincibility. He emphasized his daily training regimen and expressed skepticism about Paul's speed, asserting his confidence in his own abilities. Despite being twice his age, the 57-year-old remarked on the remarkable growth of his 27-year-old adversary, who had transitioned from a mere YouTube influencer. Meanwhile, Mike Tyson had transformed from a figure once gripped by fear to one instilling fear in his opponents. Yet Jake Paul's apprehension didn't manifest suddenly. It surfaced weeks after the fight announcement. Few anticipated this fear would escalate to the point of considering cancellation. Paul's panic became evident as he reacted to footage of the 58-year-old powerhouse executing lightning-fast speed punches during training. No, do it, Jake. Please don't listen to this, Jake. man. But Jake, don't listen to him, please. Jake. This is my... I know my... No. That he smacked the out of me at 14 years old. And my face has never been the same. Stumbling upon the videos, Jake Paul couldn't help but squirm with panic as the sight of the three-time former world heavyweight champion filled him with dread. Rushing to Instagram, Jake shared his reaction in a brief video where his expression shifted into a mix of bewilderment and blankness, a perfect fusion of confusion. But the panic didn't stop with Jake. It seeped into the hearts of his loved ones, intensifying his resolve to cancel the match. Yet another video surfaced, depicting Tyson delivering thunderous blows into the pads, following the announcement of a colossal showdown between him and his opponent. This display raised concerns for Judah Leerdam, the world champion speed skater and girlfriend of Jake Paul, who nervously questioned the risk of a brutal knockout. Despite Leerdam's apprehensions, Paul, undefeated in his career, nonchalantly dismissed the concerns during their BSW Jake Paul podcast. When Leerdam inquired, but what if he knocks you out? Is that your last fight? Paul simply grinned and responded, he's not going to. With a mutual understanding, both Paul and Leerdam agreed to steer clear of discussing such possibilities, with the YouTuber displaying unwavering confidence in the face of any potential outcome. He boasted, I'm razor sharp and lightning fast. 
Years in the arena have honed me into a winning machine. Nerves? Ha, huh, they're ancient history. Paul eagerly anticipated locking eyes with his opponent, ready to unleash a bone-chilling death stare. Yet Tyson's grip during a handshake caught him off guard. His strength was staggering. His hands were like bricks, Paul remarked. Later, Tyson's leaked audio, where Paul pleaded for the fight to be called off, confirmed his fears. In the recording, his admission rang clear. It wasn't necessarily Mike Tyson that had him trembling, but the looming specter of humiliation should he falter in the ring against the renowned heavyweight. He confessed to a fear not of Tyson's fists, but of the avalanche of scorn and ridicule that would surely follow a defeat, the barrage of vitriol from detractors that he doubted he could withstand or deflect. He displayed a keen awareness of the repercussions, acknowledging that a loss could spell the death knell for his boxing career, shattering his dreams of championship glory and leaving him unable to draw even a fraction of his current audience. Yet beyond the realm of boxing, he feared that his YouTube empire, once a bastion of success and fortune, could be tarnished by the influx of hateful comments, potentially undermining the very foundation of his hard-earned prosperity and catapulting him from the pinnacle of achievement to the depths of obscurity. He admitted to not pondering the repercussions deeply prior to the altercation, driven solely by the allure of money and the ensuing controversy. His skepticism arose regarding the likelihood of Mike Tyson or the authorities indulging his desires, deeming them insincere. Predictably, he would likely be disregarded, allowing the boxing world to witness the long-awaited showdown without hindrance. One distinguishing aspect of this match, despite the age gap, is the sacrifices both fighters are prepared to endure in anticipation of the bout. Iron Mike Tyson seems to adhere to the age-old boxing adage that women weaken legs, along with abstaining from illegal substances. The former heavyweight champion disclosed that he's forgoing meds during his training for his upcoming July 20th Netflix bout at AT&T Stadium against Jake Paul. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.